Hello, welcome to the War Rogers News Channel. Thank you for watching. Wow, this is kind of unusual. Usually, after after my Sabbath, the tournaments are usually over, but, you know, my Sabbath is ending earlier and earlier. It's just uh, part of the winter year. Anyways, so, Kaz has, has a bone to pick with you. Oh, you. And we're going to spectate. Famine and Emporion vs. Wallpair. So, we will be right back. Please stay tuned. Alright. We're going to start off the battle by... by Vatabin and Emporion having Metacham and Tauros having... or sorry, and Wallpair having Tauros. Now, I'm going to assume that Tauros is going to do intimidate on Metacham, which is going to decrease the attack. Pursuit does hit quite hard, and Tauros is going to switch. Now, knowing that Tauros switched, now we know that it's Choice Banded. And the way that, that it hit uh, Metacham is quite telling, because you can you can tell that, that, that Tauros is just Choice Banded. It's not Swift Choice Banded, it's just plain out Choice Banded. Alright, so Mega Horn is not going to be very effective, uh, and the Vataman and Purion is just going to keep switching. Skymery is going to lay down spikes. Alright, so Skymery is going to switch into something that could probably tank a Thunderbolt, like Jolteon, because of Vault Absorb. And Surf! Nice! Nice one. Wallpair was expecting a Thunderbolt. Alright, so so there's the the Snorlax. So I'm not going to say its name because you know, it could be offensive to some people. Uh, so Starmie is going to switch into Gardevoir. Gardevoir is going to be hurt by the spikes. Snorlax is going to switch into Houndoom. Wow, there's a lot of chaos going here in this battle right now. And there's the Will O Wisp. Will O Wisp does not affect Houndoom. And wow, this this is going really fast. Houndoom's going to do a pursuit, predicting Gardevoir to possibly switch. Gardevoir is the first one to faint. Heracross is going to come in. Heracross. Uh, I'm not too sure who's faster, but knowing how fast the battle is, I can't look up the speed right now. Houndoom is going to switch into Skymery. And, wow, low, low, low kick, nice. That, that was nice. Alright, so, okay. Wow, the battle's not, it's not slowing down any bit, so I'm sorry. So, there's the spikes. Wow, this is fast, I mean, by golly. Okay. <laughs> I can't even assess what what might happen. I mean, this this battle's going so fast. It's like it's like woo, but rapid spin did blow away the spikes. So that was smart. All right, so Snorlax is going to do a pursuit. Pursuit is super effective, and it almost faints st uh, Starmie. All right, so I'm not too sure if this Snorlax is Joyce Bandard or not. I don't think so. So Skymery is going to switch into uh, Heracross, and Snorlax is going to switch into Starmie, and Starmie is going to do a Surf, probably Megahorn, right? There we go. I predicted one move, one move in this quick battle, <laughs> and Starmie is the first, first one to faint. And, let's see, Heracross is going to switch into Starmie, and Star Skymery is going gonna, is gonna to faint. It's going to make Starmie faint. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. This is a quick battle, so I can't really, I can't really assess what I'm saying right now. Oh, uh, Heracross is coming right back. Skymery is going to switch. I don't know why Skymery is going to switch into Snorlax. Um, possible Fire Punch. 
or Snorlax can just switch predicting a low kick. I'm kinda thinking that Snorlax is gonna switch to the low kick. <laughs> now the battle's kinda going a little slower, that's good, so now I can assess what each person can do. Is Heracross gonna do a low kick? Or is it gonna do a Mega Horn? We're about to find out. Low kick, low kick, low kick, low, low, low kick. Yes! Hits the low kick, low kick contact Skymery. Alright, low kick does prove fatal. And Wallpair is not having a good night right now. Alright. I'm gonna predict Hound Doom either. Or Jolteon, nice. Jolteon. I'm just gonna say, just out of, out of gut. I just have a gut that the Jolteon's a little faster. Alright, so Ludicolo is going to come in. Jolteon is going to do a Thunderbolt. It's not going to hit Ludicolo as hard, but you can I can predict that Jolteon is going to switch because Thunderbolt's not going to hit as hard, and any hidden powers that Jolteon has are going to be neutral. I wouldn't say that uh, doing Thunderbolt on Ludicolo is a good idea. I think if Jolteon would have switched into Houndoom, I think that would have been a good play. Predicting the Giga Drain. But Jolteon just, you know, kind of sat there and is kind of waiting to faint at that point. Could Houndoom come in? Possibly. I think it might either be Houndoom or Snorlax. Maybe Tauros, but uh, that's going to be a bit of a stretch. So I'm going to predict Houndoom to come in. Oh. Snorlax, okay. I mean, I, I don't know why, why Snorlax came in, of all things. Body Slam. Houndoom should have came in, because if Houndoom would have come in, then... Uh, then, you know, Ludicolo's... And if Ludicolo was about to do, you know, something like Surf, then just go directly into Snorlax, or, you know. Basically, I mean, that's that's a basic PP stall. Alright, so Skymery is going to try to feint uh, Snorlax. <laughs> and Skymery is just, you know, trying to throw in some pecs. Although, I do think that spikes would be extremely helpful at this point. Alright, so Fire Blast is going to prove fatal against Skymery. Uh, now, I'm going to predict that uh, Heracross is going to come in and Heracross is probably going to do a low kick. No? No, uh, uh, Ludicolo came in. Alright. Ice Beam. Uh... I have not seen Ludicolo do that lately. The only reason why Ludicolo usually carries Ice Beam is for dragons, but there's no dragons at the moment. Alright, so now Metacham has to has to land a move right now. Alright, High Jump Kick is going to prove fatal against Snorlax, and at this point, I'm kind of predicting a win towards uh, Vataman Emporion, because Vataman Emporion has the ground game. I mean, Vatman Emporion has Metacham and has Heracross in its uh, in his team. High Jump Kick better make contact at this point because if High Jump Kick does not make contact, then Metacham is going to die. And Metacham died as well because Houndoom is really fast and the battle's happening so fast to the point where uh, I can't even look up the speed stat. Wow, that Houndoom is fast. Alright, so I'm going to predict that that Houndoom is probably timid, and it probably has uh, 31 speed IV, and I'm going to also predict that that the EVs uh, at least have 252 speed. So that's the max amount of speed you can invest in a Pokemon. So, Vataman 1, I mean, wow, i got to tell you, that, that, that battle is pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've never had such a quick battle happen before on my, on my watch. All right. Well, in that case, Wallpair vs. Uh, Seabat. We are going to be right back. Please stay tuned, everybody. Please stay tuned. 
All right, so we are here at the final match. Seabat vs. Wallpair. All right, Wallpair won the previous match, and it was like Speedy Gonzales, so I was I wasn't able to uh, do my commentary that well. I, I was able to do my commentary, but I wasn't able to do it that well. All right, so I hope this battle is better and a little slower. <laughs> All right, so Jilteon's gonna do a Thunderbolt there. Skyrim is switching to Chansey. All right, so Jolteon is gonna do a substitute predicting Chansey to switch. And Seismic Toss is gonna break Jolteon's substitute, which in turn, I think Seabat might just switch his Jolteon out into some offensive attacker. That's just gonna scare off Chansey. And Chansey's gonna probably switch. All right, so fortress. Okay, I guess that's a yeah, that's a viable option. Okay, so could Chansey do seismic toss? I don't know, but we do know that fortress usually carries spikes, so I'm going to predict that there's going to be some spike laying going on. So Dusclops is going to come in. Fortress is going to lay down the spikes. I'm going to I'm going to assume that there's going to be a will o wisp at this point, uh, and I think Fortress is predicting that too, so Fortress is switching into uh, Mistrevious. Ooh, trick! Nice! And special choice ban, so that means that that, that Dusclops is forced to, uh, to carry a, uh, uh, leftover, or, well, not leftover, sorry, special choice ban. Alright, so... So Surf is not going to hit as hard due to the special choice band be being taken away. And Mistrevious, not Mistrevious, sorry, uh, my low tick is just going to continue doing Surf. My low tick might just switch into Fortress. Since Chansey can't really do anything to, to uh, Mistrevious. Uh, or not Mistrevious, sorry, uh, Fortress. Or, ah. All right, so sorry about that. My mind sank very, very fast from the previous battle. <laughs> All right, so Chansey's gonna switch into Sky Marine and Thunder Wave hits. Okay, so I'm gonna predict that that uh, that Wall Pair might just lay down some spikes. Maybe not. Fortress is there specifically to to. Uh, to, uh, in my opinion, I think Fortress is there to rapid spin. All right, so in my view, there's probably going to be three spikes or th three spikes on Wall Pair's side. Here's my prediction: three spikes. Fortress does um, one of those rapid spin moves, and rapid spin has a lot of PP. So, you know, I'm going to predict a rapid spin here. Skymery is going to predict the rapid spin, which is why Skymery is going to switch into Dusclops, per preventing the rapid spin. And the Fortress. The Fortress could just do Toxic here. If Fortress has it. Uh, yeah, so Dusclops is now locked into Will-O-Wisp. Due to the special choice ban, right? Right? Yep, I'm correct. I am correct about that. So now Dusclops is forced to spit out Will-O-Wisps. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. So Dusclops either puts in Will-O-Wisps all over the team, or does Clop switches, which does Clop is going to switch at that point. At this point. Alright, so Chansey's going to do a heal bell, which is going to heal both Fortress uh, and itself. Chansey's probably going to switch into Fortress, and Fortress is probably going to try to do a rapid spin, and Wallpair is going to predict the rapid spin, so so probably go into Dust Clops. But that did not happen. Instead, Chansey... Or, sorry, instead of... So that uh, uh, C-Bat just went directly into Jolteon. 
which in turn, uh, Wall Pair is going to go into Chansey. Jolteon's going to try to do a growth, predicting the switch away from Skymery, which is going to increase special attack by plus one. Alright, so Jolteon is probably going to switch into Fortress, right? Oh, Thunderbolt. Wow. Uh... Alright. Jolteon, <laughs> you're taking a big risk here. You're taking a real big, real big risk. Okay, here's my prediction. Jolteon is probably going to do another Thunderbolt. Because Chansey is a wall and, you know, Seabat wants to get rid of it. Wall pair is forced to do seismic toss another time. Jolteon, let's see how much percentile it has. 45.7. So 45.7, so that means that Jolteon is likely to be knocked out. Growth is now plus two special attack. Here's here's my prediction. Thunderbolt is gonna hit twice as hard, but Jolteon is probably gonna faint. My prediction stands still. And the reason why I say that is because, in my view, Jolteon would rather get off damage than... Oh, I guess Jolteon doesn't need to sacrifice. Chansey's probably going to protect and probably hold on in hopes that that, uh, that Toxic casually wa uh, whittles down uh, Jolteon's abilities. To, uh, to hang on. Meaning that the Toxic doesn't really help much in Jolteon's department. That's the simplified version of it. Alright, so Heracross is gonna try it's gonna try to do a pursuit. And <laughs> Chansey is probably not gonna switch at this point. In fact, I think Chansey's probably gonna do a wish. Trapo. That's interesting. I didn't know Seabat had a Diglett under his skin. Alright, so Diglett... <laughs> That's actually pretty smart, having a Diglett. Diglett and Trap Pinch are two smart choices, in my view, because they have the ability called a, a, a Arena Trap, which means that Chansey can't really run away even if it tries. Due to Diglett's wonderful ability, I'm going to predict that Diglett is going to do Earthquake. Or Substitute. Oh, oh, this, this, this is a Revenge Diglett. Oh, nice. This is going to be really nice. And I'm going to predict a Berry Boost here. Particularly a Berry Boost on maybe Leechy. Yep, got the berry correct, which means, and my suspicion is arousing that this is a revenge diglet, and it probably is. I can tell you that this diglet is going to do revenge. Chansey's going to faint. Dusclops is going to come in. Diglet doesn't have enough enough health to do substitute, so the Dusclops might just throw in a real will o wisp. I'm not too sure if this Dusclops has pure pre or not pure pressure, sorry, <laughs> pressure, or if it has, uh, uh, wow, that, that was a pretty strong chancy. <laughs> Anyways, back, back to my, back to my original question. I'm not too sure if Dusclops has levitate or if it has pressure. It could have either, either one of those two. Alright, so what's going to happen next? Heracross could come in, or, or my low tick. Alright, so my low tick could just do Surf. I'm, I'm really thinking Surf here. So Surf here. Stab. It's water type. It could be Modest. I don't know if it's Modest or not.
Alright, so... Uh, surf again? And Chansey just might do a wish or something like that. Wish Protect, if it can handle it. Alright, Chansey's able to hold on. Now Chansey can do Protect, and now it can continue the stall. The Art of the Stall. Alright, so my low tick's going to do a protect, and my low tick's going to try to spam surf here, wish is going to come true, and see bats force to switch into uh, Heracross. Oh, I think see bats at a, uh, at a point of denial. I really think that he's at a point of denial. He's like, he's like you know, I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing surf over and over and over again. I don't care how many times it is, but I'll I'll just I'll just keep doing surf. My low tick is just gonna keep doing surf over and over and over again. And Chansey is just gonna keep doing wish and protect till its health is fully restored. Alright, so my low tick is gonna switch into Epic Heracross and Chansey's gonna probably do a protect. Paralysis. Alright, so Heracross, what is Heracross going to do? Heracross uh, Heracross was kind of duped this time and didn't do a pursuit, but it did do a low kick. But what happens if Walpair would have switched into uh, Dusclops? That's what, <laughs> that's what Dusclops is going to do, because, you know, uh, Heracross is going to come in. Now, here's my prediction. Dusclops is probably going to do a trick, which means Heracross needs to get out of there, and my Lotic needs to come in. Ah, uh, that's not the best idea. All right, well, Willow Wisp. All right, I'm going to predict that that Heracross has Swarm and not Guts, because if it had Guts, then it would have uh, it would have stayed around. Even with Special Choice Band, it would have stayed around. Alright, so there's the heel bell. And Walpair is running Swampert. So I haven't seen Swampert in comp for quite a while now. And Swampert is gonna is gonna make Chansey prove or sorry, it's gonna prove fatal against Chansey. Heracross. Heracross is gonna come back. Swampert's probably gonna do another earthquake or something like that. And it's probably gonna be a knockout blow against Heracross. I don't think Heracross can handle Swampert. I'd be quite surprised to see uh, Heracross live this hit. I'd be surprised. But knowing Swampert, Swampert's usually the slow one, so... There we go. Heracross does the pursuit, and goes back into Dusclops, and... Uh, I'm not too sure what, what this Heracross is holding. Because it's not... I mean, it did do low kick, but it also did the... Uh, uh, the, the, the Pursuit as well. Now, Guts has activated Heracross's hits. That's what you don't do, your Heracross, is do a Will-O-Wisp. Now that means that Heracross pretty much uh, can knock things out like crazy. You, you have just given Heracross a lot of power. Now Heracross is going to switch into Fortress. Fortress is being hurt by the spikes, and Skymarine is going to do a whirlwind. <laughs> predicting just as just how much damage Heracross can do. Alright, so my low tick's gonna come in. My low tick's gonna be hurt by the spikes. My low tick is probably gonna do a surf, and Skymarie's probably gonna switch into Chansey. Alright. And due to Chansey's natural cure, it's no longer paralyzed. Alright, so my low tick is gonna do a surf. Could my low tick switch into Heracross? No. 
Not yet. Now here's my prediction. You see how there's no ghost type? That's my prediction. That's the rapid spin. Seabat <laughs> wanted to do rapid spin for quite some time now, and since Dusclops is out of the field, that means that, that there's no more spikes. No more spike damage. Alright, so Seabat has now thwarted off the spike threat. Could Seabat make a comeback? It's going to be a little bit hard for him. But I think he can do it. I think he can do it. But it's going to be a little hard. He has to keep Heracross alive. That's, that's the key factor to making sure that the Seabat can, can secure the win. He has to keep Heracross around. Chance he's going to switch into Swampert. And Fortress is probably going to do an Earthquake, right? Alright, so Spikes. I don't think Swampert took that to a game. Or I think Walpair was kind of hoping that that don't that spikes didn't do as much damage. All right, so 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 Chansey's gonna come in, and I'm gonna predict a seismic toss, seismic toss right there. All right, and the pin missile, uh, it doesn't really hit that hard. I'm not too sure why why people invest in piss, uh, pin missile for uh, uh, fortress. I'm not too sure. That's a <laughs> uh, pin missile doesn't really do much damage. All right, so seismic toss is going to do it, uh, improve fatal, but at this point, fortress is not really needed. Hair or wow, I was gonna say Heracross is gonna be coming. Uh, you know, you can just kind of tell that Heracross might just come around. All right, so Chansey's gonna have a paralysis, and there's no wish. <laughs> So Chansey has to do some protects and hope that, uh, and hope that the uh, that the Jolteon uh, doesn't hit as hard. All right, so here's my prediction: Jolteon is probably going to do a growth here because Chansey's probably going to do a wish protect. I mean, Jolteon. Jolteon can probably get away with two growths here. Two growths, because I'm thinking Wish, Protect. Yeah. Alright, so... Chansey's probably going to do a Protect here. Predicting... Oh, Chansey's not going to do it. That's odd. I guess, I guess, uh... I guess Wallpair ran out of Protect PP. And here comes Pikachu! Oh boy! Oh man! Could Pikachu take the win? Alright, I, I haven't seen Pikachu know you before, so this is gonna be a little bit... Uh, this is gonna be a little bit interesting, to say the least. Pikachu, can the mascot of Pokemon, the franchise, take back the win? Heracross is going to come in. Pikachu's probably going to do extreme speed. Pikachu's going to prove fatal against Heracross. Wow. And my low tick's going to come in. My low tick is going to hope for the best. Alright, Pikachu is going to switch into... Wow. Now we know that the Seabat... Or not Seabat, sorry. That Wallpair has my low tick in stock. Alright, so Surf is not going to be effective. It's going to hit a little hard, but not, not really... My low tick is going to switch into Jolteon, uh, or just, or just try its best, to, you know, to, to not, to not let its Jolteon be injured because you know Jolteon still has to thwart off Pikachu or not Pikachu, sorry, Jolteon still has to knock out both my low tick and Skymery, and it could, it can't do that so well with an extreme speed Pikachu, so. My low tick is kind of hoping, or sorry, our C bat's kind of hoping that I can really help him, which which it did. Substitute did 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 help Jolteon and its cause. Now, 
what is my Lotic going to do? Well, my Lotic could switch into Jolteon. Or not Jolteon, sorry. Could, could, could switch into Pikachu. Critical hit. Wow. That's going to hit really hard. And prove fatal against Walpera's my Lotic. Now, Pikachu is going to come in. I don't see Pikachu doing much damage towards Jolteon. I could be wrong, but I don't see much damage being done here. Vo what? Seabat just... He just killed his... Oh, oh, I see what he did there. That was smart. He kind of knew he'd do Vault Tackle. But Vault Tackle would have been Vault Absorbed. Uh, vault Absorbed. Anyway, so... Alright, so Seabat won against Walt Pear. Congratulations. And the reason why I'm here is because the prize is a, is a shiny Cubone. And you can catch Cubone over here. Well, actually, in this grass onwards. So anyways, this is the Royal Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel. Like or dislike the content you see here. And I, I gotta say, that that was really smart. Walt Pear did something really smart. He he put in the Milotic on purpose, so that way so that Pikachu can get its uh, recoil damage. And yeah, that, 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 that was really smart. Uh, see bat. I, I gotta say, that, that that was a really smart play on Seabat's behalf. Alright, so this is Roy Rogers News Channel, signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased, Roy Rogers News.